Well, got the car back. Carbon ceramics looking mighty fine. Everything with Doug at YGP went good. Nah. Looks good. Everything, everything's, uh, everything's doing pretty well. But not really. So, uh, we actually talked to Bowser and, uh, Busher. They, uh, they finally got these in black, so they sent in me one. Uh, thanks a lot for that. So, a couple things. These pipings, I'm not really a fan of. Now, this is just my personal preference. I want the blow valves on this side. So, we're going to be redoing these. I'm getting rid of this because I need the blow valve here and it might, uh, it might hit this one right here. So, I'm actually thinking about getting myself one, uh, a different uh, reservoir tank for the coolant. So we'll see. Uh, I have one in mind. I just got to talk to them, make sure it's uh, up to my standards before I buy it. Same thing on this side. Like, you know, I, mm, for some reason, I just want the blow valves here. I just think it looks better. But there's nothing wrong with them being there. So those pipes I'm going to redo. Uh, I'm going to get a new tank. But everything else, man, it came out good. That carbon fiber intake manifold is, woo! It's too sexy for the eyes. Now, even though everything is uh, very good on the car, the Nismo is down, not running. And it's not running because I'm going to show you right now. My nice little four pound battery. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Look at that hole. Mm hmm. Peekaboo. I see you. No. My battery melted. I caught it quick because uh, as I was pulling my car in uh, from Doug's trailer, I caught a whiff of something. And I immediately popped the hood and nothing, the smell was not coming from the engine bay. So I checked that side, I checked this side, smell was coming from here. I could not see the damage from the battery, the way it was sitting. So what I did was I took my hand and I placed it back here and my fingers literally went through the fucking plastic. And that's when I knew that my battery was fucked. So. Uh, yeah. Not good. Not good at all. So, uh, yeah, let me flip the fucking camera around so you can look into my eyeballs as I speak to you. We're going to do a little educational video on lithium ion batteries. Alrighty, so. If you have a battery like this in your car, you know, that uh, lithium ion battery, <clears throat> the uh, what the fuck is this? Uh, C680. Yeah, C680. It's the one that uh, uh, Busher sells with their kit, right? Um, you need to take special care of that battery. Now, I don't know why my failed. I really don't. It's less than a year old, and it just melted. I caught it quick because I smelled something in the car that wasn't supposed to, you know, be there, basically. Um, for any of you owners out there that have this battery, 
pay really good attention to your cause. If you, and this goes for anything, if you smell anything that isn't, is not right, you need to stop and you need to check immediately. Whether it be a fuel leak, whether it be your battery fucking melting, whether it be anything. Okay, if there's some shit that's not right, you need to stop because it could lead to worse consequences. Now, I called the company, well, I called Busher first. I was like, yo, my battery melted, what the fuck? They were like, yo, shit never happened to us before, so you gotta call the company directly. Call the company directly, I'm like, listen, my fucking battery melted. So the first thing they asked me was, did you put a charger on it? What charger did you use? What, uh, did you ever jump the battery? I'm like, no and no. So whether uh, my battery is a year old, so what they did was they, they're gonna replace it basically. Um, get me a new one and it's coming in next week. Uh, so maybe it was just a, a, uh, a defect of some sort Something might have happened to the battery, I don't know. But I'm getting a new one, but let's talk about lithium ion batteries. Um, the chargers you use for the lithium ion batteries have to be specific to lithium ion only. You cannot use lead acid battery chargers on those car, on, on those batteries. You cannot jump those batteries, okay? If it, too much voltage goes through the, that battery, it ruins the cells and it will fucking burn down. Um, what else? If you ever give your car to like a shop, right? If you ever give your car to a shop and they take, you know, I don't know, a, a week to two weeks to um, work on it and, you know, it's not starting any of that, tell them to disconnect the battery, okay? because you can't put a charger on it you can't do anything unless you give them your charger that you have for your car like a like a trickler or like a maintainer but it, again you have to buy one that's specific to lithium ion only but the best scenario is is to disconnect that battery and reconnect it once the car is ready to be started okay another problem like if you're running this battery if it ever if it ever fails on you, you're fucked because, because of that bracket that I have from Busher, I can't just go ahead and put another battery in there. It won't fit. So I either have to wait or I have to buy that other lead acid battery that'll fit. But that bitch is like $300 and it weighs like 16 pounds. So... I didn't really feel like doing that. Although I was going to buy that if they told me that it was gonna be like a month before I get that battery. Because these lithium ion batteries, they're very popular. A lot of people run them. I've ran them pretty much on all of my cars. I've ran them on all of my bikes. Um, they're a very good battery. This is the first battery that I ever had fail. So don't be scared of buying it because you know i had this failure but again like shit happens you know what i mean so be very careful also what you could also do is what i also will be doing in the future now since you know this did fail on me i will be checking that battery periodically okay so i'll be you know doing the hand check I'll look at it from one side, make sure it's all peachy, and then take my hand and slide it to the other side and make sure that surface is nice and, um, you know, like the way it's supposed to be, not, not the way that is. Because literally, when I, when I went and put my, put my hand here, my fingers, like you could probably see my fingerprints somewhere, my fingers went through this plastic. And this shit's all deformed. So the minute you put your hand there and you see that the motherfucker's deformed, it's fucked. So you need to get your tools out and you need to pull that bitch out of there immediately. <sighs> so yeah. Nismo's down. Um, 
we ain't getting shit done until that battery comes in. <sighs> yeah. Race car problems. It is what it is. But I am still going to run that four pound battery. Because it weighs four pounds. You know, every pound counts, in my opinion. And uh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hold it against them that one battery failed. I don't, I don't even know. Like, I think the design of these batteries, they don't burn down. Like, they won't ignite. Let's put it this way: they'll melt. Because that's what happened to this battery. It literally melted. The plastic melted. It was. It wasn't on fire, it didn't have any burn marks, it just melted. And that the smell, like a chemical smell, was coming from the car. And you gotta catch that quick. You gotta catch that real quick. So that's it. It's a little educational video on lithium ion batteries for those of you that don't know. Um, this one failed because maybe, because it's, you know, maybe it just defected. Or, but you could also have yours fail if you fuck up yourself. Okay, you can't jump these batteries, you can't charge these batteries with normal chargers, you can't do anything. Okay, you have to have chargers that are specific to ion batteries, and you have to, and the best, best scenario is just to disconnect it if you're ever working on your car, and it doesn't get started for a long time. So that's all I wanted to say for, you know, for all of you that have this battery and think that it's like a normal battery. And, you know, they're not. You have to take special care of them. So that's it. Um, I'm gonna let y'all go. I'm going to the fucking gym. So next week the battery comes in and hopefully we get more shit done, like tuning. Yeah. So stay tuned for other upgrades and we'll see what she finally makes. Pieces.